Okay, these are going to be your instructions on how to make a uh, icosahedron using pipe cleaners and coffee stirs. You will also need some wire cutters or some scissors that nobody cares about because cutting the wire will dull the edges of the scissors. So you need 15 pipe cleaners. You want to make sure that you get the fuzzy ones. Uh, if you're in a craft store, these are these are the six millimeter um, chenille stems or whatever they're calling them. Um, if you are buying the half size packets, you want 30 of them, logically. Okay. Now, what you want to make sure you don't get, you don't want these. These are three millimeter. We don't want these. We want the six millimeter. Nine millimeter. It's too big. So you're going to take your chenille stem, your pipe cleaner here, and you want to cut it in the middle. Now I, I don't want you to bend it because what's going to happen is if you bend it and make a crease up here, that basically makes kind of like a hook on the end, which can get caught when we start putting this thing together. So just kind of eyeball it about where the middle is. Okay. And you're going to cut it in half. And then take the half and you want to cut it in half again. So you're basically cutting this thing into fourths. Okay, cut this thing into fourths, like so. Okay, so you end up, where'd they go? Cutting all of your, all of your pipe cleaners into fourths. Okay, once you've done that, again, this is this is prep work, which is makes it a lot easier so that once you start assembling, you don't have to stop and either cut more or do anything else. So you're going to take your your pieces here. And you're going to take your thumbnail and kind of kind of pinch the piece in the middle, and you want to just kind of bend it around your thumbnail. So I've got a nice sharp crease here. That's going to make assembling it a lot easier. So you want to do that for all of your all of the pieces that you just cut. Okay. Okay. Then once you've got everything all folded. Okay, now we can start assembling them. So you've got your you've got your coffee stirs. You should have 30 coffee stirs. It's not a bad idea to, to go ahead and count them before you get started. That way you know if you're short or long because a lot of times I'm counting these things in a hurry. So make sure you have 30 of these. Then once you've done that, here's the rule. For every coffee stirrer you need to have two pipe cleaner stems going into it. Okay, so you're going to take two of your pipe cleaners and you want to put them into the end of your straw. Now they will, even though it looks so thick, they will fit because they're going to kind of smush together. So you just kind of insert them into the end like that. Okay, and as you can see here, you get kind of this V shape on the end. So you want to take another pipe cleaner that has, you know, see notice the V-shape here, you're going to kind of nest the two together. Take another coffee stir, like that, okay? You've got another V, grab another, grab another uh, pipe cleaner. And now you can do these kind of like one at a time, but usually what ends up happening is this this in here catches on the, the fuzzy part as you put it together. Now the, the main thing I want you to remember here is that around each point you want five straws. Okay? So when I put this in here, I've got I'll get in there. Oops. Okay, so I've got one, two, three, four. So I'm not going to take another one of these. I'm just going to go ahead and pinch these two together and put a straw on the end. All right? So I end up with five straws around a point. I don't have any pipe cleaner showing. I just have this this point here in the middle. And if you kind of tug on them, I mean, there's there's they're staying together pretty well because we have that double thickness in there. One thickness of pipe cleaner really isn't enough to hold the straw on. Okay. 
So now what you do is you're gonna, you're gonna pick one of these ends, pick two, pipe, yeah, pick two pipe cleaners, and stick them in the end. Okay. All right, so again, we've got a V shape. Put it into the V shape. Stick a pipe cleaner on the end. So the, the biggest mistake I see students make is either they get in a hurry and they don't put two pipe cleaners on each end, or they lose count of how many straws they have around a point and they either put too many or too few. If you put six straws around a point, your um, shape is never going to come together. If you put four, it's going to kind of collapse on itself. So you really just need five, so I've got one, two, three, four, five straws around a point. And yes, I do find myself counting it every single time. All right. So now we've got this kind of double shape here. Now, this is called an icosahedron because it's got 20 equilateral triangles. So you can see how here's like two of my equilateral triangles starting to form. Okay. So let's see, I'm going to go, let's do red and white. So again, just put that in the end here. Now, it really doesn't matter which way you do this. I mean, where you start. You can, if you want to keep going, I just find it's easier to start building triangles because that way I can kind of keep track where I am. Because like for example here I want to put these two together. Right. Now it's tempting, you, you might say, okay, why can't I do that? Well, if you look here, if I put this one over here, then it's not going to make a triangle. Okay? If it doesn't make a triangle, then you're going to stick a straw. It's basically the rule. If you can't make a triangle, put a straw. Alright, one, two, three. So I'm going to do one more. There's no blue. Get in there. Okay, so again, like here, I can't make a triangle, so I'm going to stick a straw. Okay, so now I've got a triangle here. So I'm just going to keep building triangles. So let's do white and blue. So I'll go up here. Like I said, it really doesn't matter which way you want to go. It will eventually start kind of, of curling in on itself, which is what you want. You just don't want it to... If it starts kind of seeming too small, double check to make sure you don't have any uh, fours, any, any points with four around them. So you're just going to see, keep forming triangles here. Uh, let's see, we'll go over here. But this is why you want to have everything done before you start putting these together, because uh, to me this is this is the fun part of it. You start kind of putting it and seeing the shapes that happen. And if you have if you have to stop and start cutting more pipe cleaners or whatever, it just makes it tedious. So this is going to be my five. Okay. And I'm going to do one last one just so you can see how three of them get joined together. 
So let's do wipe here. No, let's do two points. So again, as long as you can form triangles, form triangles. If you can't form a triangle, put a straw. Would you please go in there? Okay. One thing that you will, you may find is that if you, especially if you've gotten kind of the cheaper um, pipe cleaners, they will try to bend on you as you stick them in there. So just kind of don't be too hard with them. All right, one, two, three. So we have one more. Okay, there's Okay, so again, I can't make a triangle going this way, so I'm going to have to stick a straw. And I can't make a triangle that way, so I'm going to have to stick a straw. Okay. All right, so you get this kind of dodge symbol, symbol which is pretty cool. So you just keep doing that. And then eventually, I was confused. You end up, and here's, I'm getting near the end here. Okay. All right. So again, you can see how, you know, how all the triangles have been forming here. And it just, it just kind of starts to, to curl up on itself. So, let's see, I'm going to take, let's do green. So stick these in here, get in here. Okay. So I can form a triangle, so I'm going to stick these two together. Form a triangle there, so I'm gonna stick a straw. Okay. Right, one, two, three. Okay, I can form a triangle here, so I'm gonna stick these two together. So use a straw. Now at this point you're going to start thinking, okay, I've got all of these pieces here and I only have one straw left. But it's okay, it actually will all work out. Alright, so we'll go yellow now. So I'm just going to go here. Again, it's the thing of where if you can make a triangle, make a triangle. If you can't, stick a straw. Now if you do run out, if you counted 30, straws and you run out of straws then that means something went wrong somewhere because it will take exactly 30. Okay. So okay that won't work there. So yeah. I'm just gonna go with my last straw here. can make a triangle here, so those two are going to go together. Now what I end up with here is I've got these five straws left over that I'm going to put together and finish the thing off with. there. 
Okay, and so what we have now is 20 equilateral triangles, and so we have our icosahedron.